Hi, Pisces. Awareness for the week, the devil, major arcana. So the devil is lording over here, the couple here, the chained in bondage couple. And the devil, uh, the devil is in each and every person. And so we have to find ways to deal with the devil. And the devil represents the behaviors or the actions that stall your progress, that get in the way, that limit your chance and your path to becoming like your best self. So whether this shows up as, you know, too much substance abuse, drinking or eating too much, it could also be overt materialism, you know, the, the buying everything, having to keep up with the Joneses, that you get yourself into debt or something, or you're envious of what others have. The, everybody has their little thing, like the little devil that sits on your shoulder that kind of gets you off track. So the focus this week and the idea this week is somehow you've got to be on top of the devil. You have to find a way to be mindful of the behaviors that maybe restrict you. This couple is loosely bound. If they wanted to, they could slip out of those chains, but you know, you have to want to. You have to want to, to be able to slip out and to take the step away. So first is acknowledgement and understanding of what is what are the behaviors that hold me back. And then from there, it's a sense of what can I do? What's the first step I can do to try to improve the situation? It doesn't mean that you're going to be able to fix it, you know, just like that. It's takes time sometimes to undo some things that, uh, behaviors that hold us back. So one of the ways as I see this is that the queen of pentacles is very loving and nurturing, kind and considerate. So the first thing that she would do, she'd be reaching out and being very loving to someone who maybe has a bump in the road or something like that. So, be loving to yourself. Take care of yourself. And um, focus on your comfort. This queen is surrounded by pleasure and comfort and beauty. Taking time to enjoy nature. Taking time to enjoy the fruits of her labor because she's holding that big pentacle. She's worked hard. She's multitasked. She's been able to do what she needs to do in order to build this security, all the while while, be, while being loving, fair, and nurturing. So be nurturing to yourself. Be pragmatic, have some common sense. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. You have to do a little, build those bricks, brick by brick, of loosening the chains of whatever behaviors hold you back certainly could be self-doubt. So the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, resourceful, capable, successful. Uh, in addition to the loving and nurturing, this could be that this, this could be a week where you're really paying attention to beautifying your home, your office, making it more comfortable for yourself. So now in terms of guidance, So it's interesting, okay. Nine of Wands, the wounded warrior who is on guard, the protection mode, until what's next, I'm still standing. And as I'm still standing, I'm ready to do what I need to do to try to take care of myself and to not quit. I'm, I'm gonna show perseverance, I'm gonna show determination despite being tired or maybe being exhausted or maybe being bruised a bit, you know, I'm still here, I'm still standing. And having this looking, he's looking at in the direction of the devil. And then here we have the tower. The tower is 
change underway, change is coming, either expected or unexpected, that the here's the chance for transformation. Because what's going to happen is whatever is going on, that some, your routine will be shaken up. It's not going to be the same. Something is going to change. It could be very unexpected. You, be, you could be taken unaware, and it could feel upsetting. And you may feel on the defense, and you may feel, um, you may feel under attack, perhaps. But you know, the tower is about change, and with this change, the foundation of the tower crumbles. We have to believe that this is a blessing in disguise, that this change is going to ultimately allow you to grow and to create a better foundation. Yes, there may be pain, there may be sadness, loss, shock, anger, all of those things could be wrapped up in seeing the tower. But what does it do? It gives you the chance, like a phoenix rising out of the ashes, to rise again and to have a better situation. So possible outcomes. Possible outcomes, the sense of nostalgia. <laughs> you might be hoping that things could go back the way they were. This is a card of kindness and compassion, giving. It's the children giving each other, giving flowers and the cups to the younger child. Sometimes we find comfort in our memories and in our past. Or sometimes we're hanging on to the past. So whether you are meeting up with someone from the old days, reconnecting with someone, an old flame, a co-worker, or you're driving past the old location that you used to live in, you know, here's this sense of reaching back for something that was. And it's also a very strong message of compassion and, and caring and kindness. And you know what I would say, after the tower, again, you're going to have to focus on the kindness and consideration mostly for yourself, is to make that a priority for yourself, is to take care of yourself and to show some love, self-love. So possible outcomes, the lovers. Oops. About relationships. Often decisions about a relationship that's pretty serious, that's significant. There's passion involved. There's uh, desire. There's communication. All of these things. And then here we have the chained lovers. And we have the, the lovers here facing each other, open to be, they're open, they're vulnerable. So a couple things here. It could be that once you're able to deal with the devil and protect yourself and whatever is going to happen, this, bless, this blessing in disguise, the tower, the blessing in disguise, this tower moment when things fall apart, when things are surprisingly done, crumbling. If you can let this go, and if you can deal with the tower and the after effects and return to a place of love, kindness, consideration, finding comfort, in memories or people perhaps that were kind and generous and good to you. You know, I think that the possibility here is, is favorable because it's, this may be setting the path for a true relationship to happen, for a successful relationship that you've got to deal with this here, 
these limiting behaviors. Love yourself. Be kind. Again, compassionate. Protection. And then really the strong card here is, is let, let the tower do what it's going to do. Sometimes that's a hard thing to hear. But if you let this tower do what it needs to do, which is essentially to crumble this foundation, that here's the opportunity for you. The potential of meaningful relationship, a meaningful relationship that is blessed, that is reaches into your soul, that could be transformative. And again, this is transformation. The tower is transformation because things are just going to break apart and something new will come in its place. And here it could be this amazing relationship. Okay, Pisces. So let's get a little more information on what to focus on for the week and meditation. Mystic Healer, healing energy flows through you. And it's a nice thing to think about. The healing energy will be most welcome when we see the tower and we see the devil in a reading. You know, the devil could be a third party situation, could be cheating, could be shenanigans. And the shenanigans resulted in something falling apart. And now let's choose a card for uh, spirit or emotional self. Cleanse. Your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take time out for some much needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. And it will be probably very welcome after dealing with the devil, the tower, and the emotional energy that was spent in protecting and defending yourself, perhaps your sanity. <laughs> your well-being and cleansing it's just a, the decluttering part of cleaning your space it's so empowering so if you have a chance to just do a small little nook in your house a little area because it what does it do it brings back a sense of control and finally let's get a little more information for love Consider your foundation, okay? You're being asked to look at how committed you are to love. So, interesting. How committed are you to love? I like to think of this as, this is the new foundation being built. And here's the lovers a new foundation, a new opportunity. How committed are you to love? Questions that come up when you're in serious, a serious relationship. Where is it headed? Where is it going to go? So Pisces, this is what I have for you for the week. And I hope that you found something here that resonates with you. If you did, uh, enjoy this reading. Or if you found something helpful, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment, and I hope you have a great week, and I hope that you'll join me next week for another weekly reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.